Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. It's Two Minute Tuesday again. That's came around quick, hasn't it? So today we're gonna to look at testing a fuse with a multimeter and a flashlight or torch, pocket torch, whatever you really wanna call it. Now there's many different situations where this can actually work. Let's say you obviously are a tradesman. From a tradesman point of view, you might not have your multimeter with you. Common sense would state that you take the fuse out, put it in a Hoover or something or another appliance and test it. But that doesn't look very professional at a customer's house. You might have a pocket torch on you, uh, especially as a heating engineer or electrician. Might be just one in your pocket. I've always got one in my pocket. So actually using the pocket torch is quite feasible. So we're going to run over quickly how you can test it with a pocket torch as well. Why not? So we're going to go straight ahead and use the multimeter. I'm sure you've all seen videos on YouTube of how to test them with multimeters, but we'll go ahead and do one anyway. So we're going to turn the uh, dial straight round to continuity and mine loads straight up to ohms or omega, whichever one you want to call it, OL. Now we're going to test the auto setting first. I'll leave it there so you can just about see it. Now the orientation of the red or black does not matter because you're only testing for the continuity. So what we're going to do is pop our red on this side here and the black on this side here. And you should see something other than OL. There we go, perfectly fine that one. However, if you do need an alarm, there is another button on here which switches it from auto to alarm. You can barely see the alarm signal there. And what that does is it gives us an audio alarm to show continuity. Just like that. Now if you hit function again, it takes you to diode setting, which is that symbol there, just above the OL. That's for different types of fuses, such as car fuses and smaller fuses. So we'll just run through those again. That's your auto, which is what we first tested on. That's your alarm sign. And that's your diode setting. Now, how to test it with a torch? Well, this is, again, quite simple, quite straightforward. Make sure the torch is on. I, I tend to use a pocket torch. You can use a bigger torch, but it's a lot harder because you have to make sure that the bases are touching the batteries. And as you can see from here, there we go. On, off. On, off. So that fuse is perfectly fine. That's a three amp. You can use a 13 amp. You can use a five amp. You can use a 10 amp. You can use whatever you want. There we go, on, off, on, off. And that one is a 13 amp. Because it's low voltage, it's perfectly fine. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.